I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and we're at the National Publicity Summit with Jane Bernard. Jane, welcome. Thank you, Gabby. I'm so happy to be here and talking to you. Oh, it's such a pleasure to have you, and I'd love to know a little bit more about who you are and what you're bringing in to this great summit. So, Well, thank you. Well, I am an intuition specialist, and my understanding of what intuition is is that it's our sixth sense. Our five senses are like our five fingers. We have seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, and smelling. And our palm is our intuition. And the way it works is we hear something, we turn and look, and we don't think about it. It's intuitive. It's part of our survival instinct. Now, if I hurt my hand, I can't pick up this book. If you don't use your intuition, your other five senses don't work to their fullest advantage. And our intuition connects with our, just like our palm connects with our head and our heart, our intuition connects with our head and our heart also, and it's our internal guidance system that keeps our priorities straight. So how does this intuition come out, come to life in your case? Well, the way it works is that when I really use my senses, I'm aware that I have a sixth sense, and we all have it. When, you, when I'm looking at you, if I really focus on that I'm looking at you, I suddenly notice that you have beautiful green eyes. Otherwise, I just see you. And when I really listen to what you say, I might hear a nuance in your voice or realize you're asking me a question. So the thing that intuition does is it's a grounding and an arousal sense. And it gives us a point of clarity and perspective that always protects us and always guides us where we really want to go. You've brought this intuition into your life mission. Yes, I have. So tell us about that. I believe that the source of what drives us, the source of our passion, is our intuition and our sixth sense. It's like when you feel lonely or bored or frustrated, you're not connecting with your intuition. And as a result of a book I wrote called Fine Tuning, Connecting with Your Inner Power, I was able to talk on a lot of television shows nationally and locally. And um, people kept saying to me, how can I use my intuition to lose weight? So I was asked to write a book, which I did. It's this book. It's called Am I Really Hungry? And the reason it's called that is because when I interviewed intuitive eaters, before they sit down to eat, before they start eating, they say to themselves, am I really hungry? What am I really hungry for? And I also learned that they have 10 tools which are connect them with their intuition. Our intuition is always talking to us. It's always connected with our bodies. Your intuition is connecting with you right now. So Jane, you help people realize, um, be more tuned into themselves. Exactly. And in a way, as this relates to uh, being hungry or not, really learning more about themselves and their relationship with food. It's so interesting. This is the thing intuition does. It's two things. One thing is it definitely teaches you about yourself. The more you use your intuition, the more insights you have into who you are, what makes you happy, and what makes you tick. And because you have those insights, you make choices and decisions that give you what you want. And the other thing about intuition is that it is an open, flexible attitude. It's relaxed, but it's flexible so you're not rigid. And one of the things about eating and dieting is diets are rigid. And because they're rigid, they don't work. Because our lives are anything but structured. The impossible and the improbable happen every day. So, so how can people reach you and how can they get a hold of your book? People can reach me by amireallyhungry.com. And I have, um, you can just go to amireallyhungry.com and reach me right through there. Oh, this is wonderful, Jane. Thank you so it's much for joining pleasure. me. It's my pleasure, Gabby. Thanks. Thank you.